Hi, I'm Belle, welcome back to my channel. So, a couple of weeks ago, I um, recorded and uploaded a video of my favorite sweet treats, um, showed you a couple of kind of sweet snack ideas and what was in my sin crate, so jo chocolate and biscuits and sweets and all that kind of thing. Um, and that will be, you can obviously find that on my channel if you haven't seen it, but I think a few people found that relatively useful. So um, I promised that I would record a savory one as well. Now I've got a massive sweet tooth, but I know that lots of people prefer to um, uh, use their snacks for um, sort of uh, savory things. I know a lot of people are doing um, sort of a, a lower or reduced sugar um or have tried to or are giving up sort of sugar at the moment um and um so hopefully um these kind of savory snack ideas might help with that too i also thought obviously it's half term next week then um obviously we've got easter break and um just generally i think as the weather gets better we're all doing a lot more sort of days out and picnics and um yeah hopefully these ideas will come at a good time for that but um you know even if you're not having sort of days out hopefully some of them could be kind of lunchbox ideas as well so um i've got quite a few um things to sort of talk through so i'm going to start with sort of chilled um snack ideas then i'll move on to sort of things like crisps and then at the end i'll talk through a couple of super easy simple um sort of low sin um recipes that you can make um like i won't go through the full recipe but i'll just give a couple of ideas of things that you could make as snack ideas um hopefully the title has given it away but i do um slimming world so i will be talking about um sins and free food and things like that but even if you don't follow the slimming world plan hope and you follow a different plan hopefully this will be helpful anyway um as the majority of things are going to be sort of relatively low cal um low calorie or sort of lower fat so yeah hopefully even if you follow a different plan um these might still be kind of good ideas so um without further ado i will start on my my sort of chilled lower thin snack ideas so the first one I want to talk about is this so this is the Dairy Lee um, Dunkers they came in a four pack like this um, and this is the one that comes with nachos so um, you basically get a um, load of nachos in here and then you get the kind of Dairy Lee in um, the little bit here. Um, this is five and a half sins for these. You can get different ones with um, sort of breadsticks or with um, crackers in. Um, but I just thought the nachos were kind of nice and tasty. This is five and a half sins. Um, obviously keeps in the fridge, but it's got quite a long... Um, sort of date on it so these are um i got these a few weeks ago um and these are like best before august so um they do last some time as well but five and a half sins for each individual um little um packet of these we just thought these were great for like chucking in a like sort of picnic box or or lunch box um and also for me i find where you've got to kind of where you've got more sort of things like to like dip it feels like it kind of goes a bit further um so yeah that is my first sin idea um the second um sort of uh low sin um snack that i wanted to talk about is seafood sticks i have these pretty much every day these are free on slimming world um and they are great just to kind of snack on on their own or um to sort of if you're happy to use a couple of sins to um sort of dip into um like salad cream um or you can pop these into like salads or whatever but i just have these as a snack and as i say these are free on slimming world um, the next um, snack idea is this, which is a Fridge Raiders Smoky Barbecue um, Chicken Skewer. So this is um, free on Slimming World. I got this in Sainsbury's, I think. And this is literally just a barbecued flavour um, skewer of chicken. Um, and a great, again, sort of great to take with you on a day out because, um, you know, it's all packaged up and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is free on Slimming World, the Smoky Barbecue one. They do do other flavours, which will obviously have different um, sort of sin values. Um, but this one, as I say, is sin free. Um, the next idea that I wanted to mention was obviously the trusty mug shot. So um, a while back, a lot of mug shots used to be sin free. Now mug shots do have a sin value. Um, the sin value that they have vary from flavour to flavour. This is one of the higher sinned ones. So I think this is uh, two sins. 
Um, this has got a 2% um, little thing here. Um, but this is the Thai noodles. So this is, um, yeah, two sins for this. And obviously you make this up with boiling water. I really like mug shots. I still have them even though they've got um, a sin value. I really like the Cajun one that comes. It's called uh, the big one, I think it's called. Um, and it comes sort of in a pot. Um, and I really like that. I think that's two and a half sins, but a really nice kind of creamy, um, sort of spicy flavour. The, um, yeah, the Cajun mug shot is really, really nice. So, yeah. Couldn't do a Slimming World uh, savoury snack video without mentioning the trusty mugshot. Um, the next thing that I wanted to mention is these. I've mentioned these on my channel before. These were recommended to me by one of my lovely viewers. Um, this is the um, John West Salmon Infusion Pots. Um, so this is the teriyaki flavour, which is one sin. They also do a sweet chilli one, which is one and a half sins. And basically, um, you kind of peel the metal lid back, um, and this is like, obviously, a tin of flavoured salmon. But it's so nice. It's got such a nice flavour to it. And this would be great, um, even either like on its own, just eaten kind of with a fork. Um, or you could obviously add this to like... Um, a noodle salad or a pasta salad if you're going out for the day um, or sort of put it onto crackers um, or even if you were having that King's Mill whole meal um, no crust bread where you get three slices you could obviously add this and make just normal sandwiches for um, for a day out um, but I tend to just have this as a snack on its own um, and yeah it just got absolutely bags of flavour um, and one sin. Um, the next thing that I wanted to mention is these. These are the Cathedral City Nibbles. So this is like a multi-pack and inside you get these little bags um, of just like little bits of chopped cheese. These are three and a half sins for each individual little bag. Um, and yeah, again, just great to kind of chuck in a lunchbox um, or picnic uh, bag for a day out. Um, and yeah, just little bits of cheese. And obviously you could add um sort of baby plum tomatoes or um kind of cucumber or carrot batons or um i really like um slices of apple um with cheese as well for like a, a sort of picnic day out um so yeah three and a half cents per little bag of these cathedral city nibbles um the next thing that i wanted to mention and most people uh, will probably have these in their fridge already um but i am a big fan of like pickled veg so i've got here um pickled uh, beetroot I've got um, pickled onions and I've got gherkins and I absolutely love these I just think they really are um, they add a lot of flavor to again things like pasta salads if you're going out for the day um, but I really love just snacking in the, on them kind of like on their own um, and I'm a big fan of pickled veg um, and obviously these are all free or speed um, free or speed food on Slimming World um, next, I wanted to mention these, which are the um, Weight Watchers uh, cans of tuna. This is the um, tuna with um, sweet corn and mayonnaise. Um, you get three individual little cans in here. They do other flavours. I think they do um, a tomato and herb one. These little cans, um, so I'll open this up. Um, you get three little cans, as I say, um, with the ring pull on the top. Um, and again, I would just have this as a snack, but again, it would be lovely um put through a uh, sort of pasta salad as well these are two sins per pot and i think the tomato and herb one is one and a half sins but these are just super easy um obviously you could just make it yourself with sweet corn with tuna with adding your own mayonnaise um but i just think these are great for a little snack on the go take a little plastic fork with you um yeah big fan of these um, next, I wanted to mention this, which is the Asda um, fat-free sweet chilli cottage cheese. This is sin-free on Slimming World. Um, and this is really, really tasty. And again, this is lovely either on um, kind of crackers um, or Rivita, something like that. Or again, I would just eat this uh, with a fork. Um, and I'll explain something else you can do with this a little bit later on. Um, the next thing that I wanted to mention is this, which is the Taste Inc. Um, chicken fillet. So this is a char grilled one. This is um, free, sin free. Um, they do do other flavours. I think they do a spicy one and maybe a barbecue one. Um, and I think they've got half a sin each, but this one is free um, on the plan. Um, and this came in a, a sort of um, duo pack. So I've got two of these. Um, and it is literally just like a char grilled, ready cooked chicken breast. So again, um, great to kind of take with you um, 
if you're kind of going out for the day um and yeah lovely tasty um char grilled chicken snack um, the next thing I wanted to mention is these, which is Laughing Cow Light. Um, I'm sure lots of people have these uh, anyway, but um, these are, uh, you can have these as a healthy extra A um, choice. Um, and I think you can have five of them as your healthy extra A um, and a grain. These are great to take out with you on the day. So obviously I'm sure everybody knows what a Laughing Cow looks like, um, but you just uh, get all these little um, triangles like this. Um, and again, Great on a cracker, um, but uh, for me, just to, again, have with you um, in a kind of picnic box or um, lunch box with, um, yeah, with maybe some carrot batons or um, slices of apple, really, really yummy. Obviously, they do do other flavours. They do like a blue cheese one. Um, I think they do a, um, maybe a cheddar-y one as well, do they? Another flavour anyway. Um, and uh, they, the light ones you get five as your healthy extra a but obviously if you don't get the light ones it will be a different um number that you'll get for your healthy extra a um and on the same note um obviously baby bell lights um the uh, light version of these you get three as your healthy extra a um and again these are just great i think to take with you on the go um as a little sort of low thin snack to chuck into your lunchbox so that's it on the chilled section um, and I'll be back in a second to show you crisps and snacks. So let's get on to crisps and sort of, um, yeah, similar kind of products, I guess. So my absolute favourite is these, which are the Sensa Walker's Sensation Poppadoms. So um, you get six in the pack. Um, I think I got these from Asda on a kind of, um, they often do like deals on the multi-packs of like crisps and things. So um, these you get three of the lime and coriander chutney and three of the mango and red chili chutney um, bags look like this they are just absolutely full of flavor really really delicious and um, one of these bags from the multi-pack um, which is the 13 gram bag is um, three sins and they are absolutely delish so would definitely definitely recommend those um, the next thing I wanted to mention are the um, hula hoop puffs. So these are the ones from multi-pack. So these bags are 15 grams each. Um, this is the sweet chilli. This is the beef. I think they also do um, like maybe a salt and vinegar already salted. Um, but yeah, these are three and a half sins a bag. Um, loads of crunch to them. Really, really nice. Really tasty. Three and a half sins a bag. Um, the next thing that I wanted to mention is pop chips. I love pop chips. I think I first had them like many, many moons ago uh, when I was in Vegas um, and I've loved them ever since. So they do um, sort of different types of kind of pop chips. So just be careful because some of them will obviously have um, sort of slightly different sin values depending on whether you get like a multi-pack bag or um, whether you get like a, just a bag, um, you know, like for example, um, like if you're getting a meal deal or you pick a packet up from the garage, something like that, they, they'll be a, probably a bigger bag, so it'll have a higher sin value. Um, but what I've got here is the um, sour cream and onion pop chip uh, corn, what are they called? Corn chips. So these are the corn chips. They're absolutely delicious. Um, these are three and a half sins for the 17 gram bag. And again, absolutely bags of flavour and crunch. Um, and then this one is the kind of more uh, standard size, I guess, uh, barbecue pop chips. Um, and these are the, let me just see it, I think it's a 23 gram bag. Um, and this is uh, four and a half sins. But again, these are, I love a barbecue flavour. Um, and these are so, so nice. And yeah, well worth four and a half sins. Um, the next things I showed on my channel a couple of days ago. Um, but these are from Boots. These are the Shapers Rendang Curry Flavour Crackers. So again, loads and loads of crunch. Four and a half sins for this size bag. Um, and uh, yeah, again, really, really delicious. Um, next, I wanted to mention um, the Snacker Jacks. So um, I know lots of people like the um, sweet uh, caramel flavoured Snacker Jacks. Um, I really enjoy the sort of vinegar ones as well, but these are the um, sweet chili. This is the multi-pack bag. Um, so this is 22 grams um, and this is four and a half sins for this. 
Um, the next thing I wanted to uh, talk about is these, which are, I haven't tried these yet. I um, got these from the petrol station um, at the weekend and um, yeah, haven't tried them yet. But these are a um, organic chickpea puffs and they're called hippies. Um, and this size bag, which is the, what sort of size bag is this? 22 grams. Um, are four and a half sins and these are the um, sweet and smoking flavour so I assume they're going to be kind of barbecue-y um, and as you can tell I do like a barbecue flavour um, but they do do other flavours as well but four and a half sins for these um, and last but by no means least on the snack um, sort of crispy front um, is a good old packet of what's it's so um, throughout my kind of adulthood of wanting like low sin sort of savoury snacks, I've always enjoyed What's It and also French fries as well, which are another kind of low sin um, snack. I really like, uh, I haven't got any, but I really like the um, Worcester sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Worcester sauce? Worcestershire sauce? I don't know. Uh, Flavoured French fries. Um, and I really enjoy What's It. So this is a multi-pack bag so this is 16 and a half um grams um and these are four and a half sins um and you know i'm sure you've all tried what's this before but lovely cheesy snack and uh yeah four and a half sins for the multi-pack bag so um that is the end of my sort of crisps uh section and in a second i will talk you through some sort of quick easy uh low sin recipes um that you can use as snacks so I know some people aren't a fan of kind of crisps and things, but do enjoy a kind of more savoury snack. So I thought I'd mention um, a couple of just lower sin uh, ideas of things that you can make um, that, yeah, have got a relatively low sin value. So um, the first thing, a lot of people have mentioned these on their uh, channels, but, uh, and I know uh, lovely Debbie from Debbie's World and the lovely Budget Slimmers, Kath and Laura, um, have got recipes for these on their channels. But the first thing I wanted to mention was the curry loaf. Um, loads of people love it great to take in a picnic um, so if you either um, check out the budget slimmers or Debbie from Debbie's world you'll find a recipe for curry loaf and depending on um, what rice you use and what um, canned dal you use um, you can make that sin free um, the second thing that I wanted to mention I've shown this on my channel before um, is um, cheese and I did Vegemite, but you could use Marmite um, baked oats. So lots of people um, use baked oats for a sweet recipe, but um, I had done baked oats before with um, yeah with Vegemite um, and um, and cheese in them. So all I used was um, forty grams of oats. I used um, I think uh, two eggs, maybe one egg. Um, some plain natural quark, um, some garlic granules, salt and pepper, and then I used mature cheddar as my healthy extra A, um, and yeah, loads of Vegemite, and just stirred it all round, and then um, baked it in the oven, and it made, they were almost like, it didn't taste like really strongly of like Vegemite or Marmite, so if you're not a fan, I think you'd still probably enjoy them, um, but warm, they were absolutely delicious, they, um, just tasted like cheese scones really um yeah so so nice so that would be a good idea the third thing is crustless quiche so um i showed you the um sweet chili cottage cheese earlier but the way i make um a crustless quiche or little egg muffins so you can do an individual one or you can do big ones and take it out in slices is that I fry off some um, either ham or um, lean bacon or smoked salmon with um, whatever veggies you wanna do. So you can do it with like onions or um, peppers or mushrooms or whatever. You don't have to fry it first. I would probably cook the bacon first, but you don't have to cook it all first. If you're just using ham or smoked salmon, you, you wouldn't need to cook it first, but I do. Um, and then so I just um, fry all that off in fry light and then in a jug I whisk up um, some eggs and that cottage cheese and um, sometimes I add some herbs, um, salt and pepper, a bit of garlic granules, um, stir it all around and then I basically, depending on whether I'm doing a big one or little ones, I'll get like a muffin tray or a big um, sort of pie dish put the veggie um, and bacon or ham or smoked salmon mixture in the bottom. Then um, I pour the mix with the eggs and the cottage cheese mixed through it. Um, obviously make sure you use a 
um, sin-free cottage cheese. If you're doing Slimmer World, you want to keep it sin-free. And then I pour that over the veggies and the bacon. Um, and then if I want to use my healthy extra A for it, then I'll add uh, a healthy extra A portion of uh, grated cheese over the top. Um, and then I will just bake it. And that makes really, really lovely um, little savoury muffins or like one big crustless quiche. And that's great to kind of take out for the day with like salads or to snack on. Um, another on the egg front, um, lots of people will um, have in their fridge kind of uh, boiled egg, hard boiled eggs. So cook up a load of those at the weekend and then um, just have like cold hard boiled eggs throughout the week. Ditto, um, I know a lot of people um, snack on uh, potatoes as well. So um, cook, boil up a load of new potatoes um, and just keep those in the fridge um, cold to like snack on as well with a bit of salt and pepper. Um, another thing would be to do some um, skinless uh, chicken drumsticks. So um, just like put some uh, fry light and then some spice, whatever you want to use, like Cajun or Piri Piri spice over the top and then just bake them in the oven and then just have those kind of cold in the, I mean, you could have them warm obviously, but um, if you made a load, you could have them just kind of cold in the fridge to snack on um, during the week. Um, ditto, you could roast up some um, veggies, um, so things like um, peppers or um, courgette, mushrooms, sweet potato, butternut squash with fry light and spice, salt and pepper. Um, and again, just have that in the fridge to kind of snack on over the week. Um, other thing that I wanted to mention was that lovely Debbie from Debbie's World has got a fantastic recipe on her channel for a breakfast loaf that looks absolutely super. So definitely worth checking her channel out as well. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to mention um, is I have done uh, over the last couple of months um, quite a few kind of dips um, that you can obviously have with carrot batons or chopped up cucumber or um, you know whatever you want to dip into it. But um, so like crudités and dip. So I've done one that was kind of like a hummus. So I used a can of butter bean, drained can of butter beans, um, a couple of spoons of fat-free Greek style yogurt, um, some lemon juice, some garlic granules and um, lots of salt and pepper. Um, and I think I added a little bit of um, chilli and smoked paprika to that one as well. You wouldn't have to if you didn't like spicy food. And then I just had all that in a bowl and then I blitzed it down with a ham blender. That made a really nice kind of hummus. And I just put a little bit of smoked paprika over the top. So lovely for like dipping carrot batons or cucumber into. Um, along the same lines, I did another really nice dip with smoked mackerel. Um, a lot of smoked mackerel will have a sin value, but if you remove the skin, the sins won't be too bad. So again, I just took um, some, I think I did it with quark, plain natural quark, which is a protein. Um, I think I used 100 grams of smoked mackerel, depending on where you buy it from, will depend on the sim value. Um, bit of lemon juice, I just get the bottled lemon juice and um, some salt and pepper. And again, I just blitzed that down with a hand blender. That was really nice, like smoked mackerel dip. Um, and then in group, uh, when I was at Simi World a couple of weeks ago, somebody brought in a really nice dip there where they'd literally just added... Um, got plain natural quark and then they had added their healthy extra A portion of grated mature grated cheese um, and some herbs and salt and pepper and just stirred that round and that made a really nice kind of cheesy dip as well. So yeah there's loads you can kind of do if you sort of put your mind to it I think. Um, yeah it, um, there are lots and lots of sort of sin free um, and kind of lower sin savoury snacks that you can try. I think it's just a case of sort of being a bit imaginative and making sure that you kind of use um, Instagram and, and YouTube to kind of get lots of lovely ideas. But I know there's loads of really great YouTubers with fantastic kind of snack ideas in the channel. So um, I've mentioned before um, Debbie from Debbie's World. I think she does fantastic recipes. Um, Jane Gammons does really great recipes as well um, for kind of snacks. I know she's done... Um, think like a tandoori chicken in her act fry that looked really nice um Susie from scrumptious cooking has done some great kind of snack ideas as well um and the budget slimmers obviously um I've mentioned their curry loaf so definitely worth checking out um uh, lots of different people's channels to kind of get new and fresh ideas um but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video um I'm sorry I've gone on a bit as I knew I would um but yeah hopefully there's a few ideas in there and things that you can 
um, use as the weather starts to brighten up and hopefully spring will be with us. But um, I've done my best to get the sin values right. Um, but if I have made any mistakes, I'm really sorry. I am human. So it is always worth checking the sin app or calculator for anything I've mentioned. But if you have enjoyed this video, do please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if there are any snack ideas that I uh, should haven't thought of that um, maybe would be good ideas for other people, um, do comment below. Um, let everybody know what your favourite kind of low sim snack ideas are too. And it's always worth reading the comments as well so that you can uh, sort of pick up new ideas from other people. So anyway, this is the end of today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And as always, I really, really do appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time in my next video. Take care. Bye.